All right, so let's do a little update on some camping stuff here. Uh, I previously put up a video on the Big Agnes Spicer Peak 6, and then I stayed the night in it, and it's been up for a few days now. It rains every afternoon, thunderstorms blow in, and it's been handling the rain and wind and everything just fine. I think it's a good tent. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about it. Um, there is one thing that, you know, sort of stands out and it's not a problem that's unique to this particular tent, but if you look here on this end, you got, you see the orange here, the orange outlines a zipper, so you can unzip that and that's a door and it's identical on the other end. So you got a, you got a entrance and exit on each end. Now the actual, I guess, envisioned design of the tent was that you would actually sleep, you know, I mean, it's a six person tent. So they imagine you're, you're all gonna sleep in here like this. And people can get up in the middle of the night and come and go and uh, make their way out the tent, you know, from whichever side is convenient for them. So that's fine. The entire uh, upper half and top of the tent is all mesh, and that's fine. However, you know, when you put the rain fly on and it's actually closed, well, you have no windows. You've just closed the whole thing off. So in the middle of the night at 3 in the morning when it's, you know, 60... Uh, 64 65 degrees it's still stuffy in the tent now you can open the rain fly on each end unless it's raining and then you got a problem um, so ventilation is um, a drawback here with the rain fly on uh, the other night you know it had rained I peeled the fly back, but there was a constant threat of rain, you know, like an hour later it could start, you know, pouring down rain. Like, I don't know, it was going to get up in the middle. I mean, you do what you have to do. You get up in the middle of the night and put the thing back down and, you know, keep the rain out. But it would be nice if, if there was some other way to have some ventilation but you know look that's it's a tent and that's kind of the nature of tents so that's it for that i i think the tent's been pretty sturdy it's very tight it's not loose you know it's a very stable structure um and like i said it's handled handled some good wind uh the next thing that uh i want to mention i did an unboxing video on this thermarest mondo king mattress where i kind of laid it out and talked about it a little bit but um i hadn't actually used it in that video so i've used it and man that thing is awesome i can't say anything negative about it it is it was really comfortable i slept great you know uh i can't, I can't remember the dimensions of this it was four and a quarter three and a half but i mean you can see it's it's pretty thick and uh I, it was just great so i would definitely you know it's not really for backpacking but none of this is for backpacking i mean this is a uh car or i mean I didn't buy it for the car. I bought it for canoe trips, but um, so this is a, the canoe setup. So when you're hauling, you got your canoe packed down with stuff. The size of this tent and the size of that mattress are, are not a concern. Uh, incidentally, they both dimensionally, when you pack them down, both that particular. Um, that particular sleeping pad and the tent really uh, take up about the same amount of space. 
Now the tent is 14 pounds and the thermo wrist pad, I'm just guessing because I don't remember, but eh, five pounds, maybe six, but it's awesome. So those are just uh, some of my thoughts after using these two and having them up here for the last week or so. And it's gonna storm again this afternoon, I, I feel like. Um, that's sort of our pattern right now. And so I'll, I'm not gonna take it down, it's been getting rained on and I don't wanna put it up damp. It's probably safe to put it up now, but I have other things to do. So it's gonna stay up at least a few more days until I get around to it. And I may stay in it again, we'll see. Anyway, that's it.